So you have decided to create your own educational video. What are the steps involved in doing that? Like most good educational materials, a good instructional video starts with a good design, called a script. A script may be as simple as just an idea in your head about a sequence for shots, or it may be as elaborate as a pile of sketched out frames with narratives, timings, listings of required props, etc. Not all the shots that you plan need to be created by you. It's very well possible to combine your own footage with that of others. So when developing your own video, searching for existing footage is definitely an option. Your shoot will hardly ever be right the first time, so you are likely to end up with lots of raw footage by the end of your shooting session that needs sorting out later. To have a good look at your material, you have to transfer it or capture it to your PC to be able to watch it in detail, full screen. This is where you start sorting out your captured footage. At the end you will be left with only those materials that suit your original design and that are of sufficient audio and video quality. Next comes the fun part. Editing your materials into a high resolution, high audio quality master copy. This master copy is not a copy that you want to distribute to your learners. For them, you have to create copies that will suit devices that your students will use to watch your video. This may be a computer, in which case you have to render your master copy to a CD or a DVD. It may be a mobile phone, in which case you have to render it to a format that can play on a 2-inch screen. Or your students may use an e-reader that also plays videos. Or you may have to render it to a DVD for playback on a DVD player and television set. Or Eventually you may want to upload your video to the web, for example to YouTube. And all this from the same master copy. 